You don't try to do the exact same thing in each take. Each time we're looking for just a perfect moment. I've, I've worked on independent films when I was young. I remember, I don't know how many films I did uh, or worked on where we had these amazing moments, but we didn't see them on the camera. There were amazing moments between the actors, right. but it wasn't for the camera. Okay. And on stage, you can look everywhere. Okay? The audience can watch what they want. On the camera, it's only what we see in the frame. Uh, this is all obvious, but we forget that. The camera is really a director's medium or the editor's medium or the producer's medium more than it is the actor's medium. The actor needs to offer a wide variety of choices, but they don't get to decide what they mean. I could frame my face right now like this, right? And I could put a voiceover that says, this is Chris. He wasn't always like this until he started sniffing glue. Or I could, put, I could frame myself again and I could go, this is Chris. He's going to help you. Call now. And it changes what I signify. Your creativity is in coming up with a series of honest, spontaneous, believable choices. And you don't get to choose what they make those choices mean. Yes, exactly, okay. Does that make sense? It does completely. Because also I think that people think that um, good acting is an acting that is truly felt and whatever you feel is going to show. But as you just said, what is not in frame is not going to show. Yes. So it is about offering it to the camera and it is also about diversifying it. Absolutely. So you can, uh, you know, do something useful for the editor after. And you want, you want to be somebody the editor wants to keep coming back to. And one way of that is by offering a, a series of choices. So in each take, you've got something. And you try something, you don't try to do the exact same thing in each take. You try to hit what you need, yeah, but then each time we're looking for just a perfect moment. Because you're not going to use the whole take, usually. Ah, it happens. But it's rare. Usually you're going to edit into it. So, so in each, in each uh, take, go for a different perfect moment. Okay. Okay, I think it's useful. That's perfect. There's something that's weird with you in your class, playing opposites which I found fascinating at the time. Can you explain what this is? Yeah, the whole notion of playing opposites. How can I explain that? Uh, so you, you read uh, a scene, Romeo loves Juliet, Juliet loves Romeo, Mwah! they kiss, life is wonderful, and then they kill themselves because they're hormonally raging teenagers and all these things happen, shit happens. Uh, but but um, it's easy for actors, for all of us, just to see the surface and to know the end result. We know because we know the future. We know what happens at the end of the scene. So we think, oh, I'm going to play it. He's in love, so he's going to try to get love. Mm. But that's an obvious choice. And it's just on the surface, and it's already in the words. So what's useful uh, is also to find the opposite impulse. To get them to reject me, or to get them to prove themselves to me, or to get them, I'll go for an opposite impulse because then stuff that's uh, under the surface, stuff that's happening in the engagement between me and the other actor, between me and, and uh, the moment, other stuff comes out that is incredibly useful because otherwise you run the risk that what you're playing is just melodramatic yes. because you're playing the words. Yes. And the job of the actor is not to play the words. The words are there. The story has already been written. You need to know the words. They have to be inside you, but then you have to forget about them. Yes. It's kind of like uh, you have to do all the preparation. It's like falling in love. Uh, it's my Barry White story. Do you remember this? Okay, yeah. it's uh, acting is, uh, this is a really bad metaphor, but, but I think it works in a way. Um, you fall in love with somebody, you invite them to dinner. So you, you know what you're going to say, you know you're going to try to kiss them, you know you're going to try to find this perfect moment. And you, you make a beautiful dinner, and you, you light some candles, you put on the Barry White. And then the person arrives, and whoosh, all the stuff that you tried doing, all the stuff you prepared, goes out the window because if you try too hard, yeah. hey, how you doing, yeah. uh, you're pushing it. But then you live the moment, you trust that everything you feel, everything you've prepared is still there, yeah. but then you live the moment and see what happens. And you, you'll surprise yourself. And the greatest gift you can gift yourse give to yourself is surprise because you'll suddenly experience something you didn't expect to experience. Yes. Because uh, anticipation Knowing the future and anticipation are death for an actor. So when you go for an opposite, it's not what you expect, so something real happens. Usually when we watch a film or we watch a play, uh, we're looking for those moments 
where something extreme happens, where there's a change, a change in the people's lives, so they're reacting in a very strong, emotionally visceral way. It's when the body becomes engaged that I become thrilled by what the actor is doing. And by body I mean emotions, uh, uh, physical reactions, emotional reactions, all of it.